Today on our show, we're going to eat ladies from around the world. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Slapdash Spasmodic. The show more random than something I can't think of right now. So, I want to do a quick introduction of the show. The show that you're going to see today is not going to be a reflection of what the show is going to be all the time. The idea of the show is to be random, spastic, you know, anything that you could possibly think of, we're going to do. Today we're going to do something uh, that is going to be taste testing potato chips. Um, but that's not going to be what we do all the time. And we're going to love to hear some suggestions from you guys if you want to participate and give us ideas on what to do. But here with me today to help us eat these chips is uh, Crash from her own YouTube channel, Crash Start. How are you today? I'm fabulous. That is awesome. Okay, so you may have seen in the stores uh, in the last week or so, I just spotted them the other day, uh, Lay's does these flavored chips that they do every year. They have contests. I love our chips. You tell us which one's your favorite. Well, they've apparently come up with some new ones. We're going to taste test them for you and kind of give you the skinny on what we think are good and see if you might like them. If you'd like them, cool. You might actually find out which one of our tastes you prefer and, you know, then you'll know which one to try. So, Piper, if you will uh, bring us the chips. All right. Um. Just uh, set them over right here. All right, we got, there are four, as always. Uh, this one is Greek Tadziki, and I'm going to give you Lay's uh, professional little description here. By the way, they are not a sponsor, so just a little thing here. Uh, when the Greeks mix dill, garlic, and unique spices to yogurt, Tadziki became a Mediterranean classic. There is no doubt this creamy flavor will have you saying, Opa! I guess that's Greek. I don't know. Now we have Brazilian Picana. Picana. Do you want to read this? Sure. Okay. Okay. Brazilian Picana. This little thing? Yes. Pe Picana, the finest cut of Brazilian steak, is skewer grilled with coarse salt to lock in flavor. Mix in the bright flavors of... It's a word I do not know how to pronounce. Chimichurri. 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 Chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri sauce. And you'll be saying, Mas pofea. I don't know if I said that wrong. Por favor. I'm an idiot. Mas por favor. <laughs> I took Spanish and I got that wrong. Good job. That shows you education at work, people. Now we have... Ooh, and these are kettle cooked. That's another thing we needed to mention. There are all the different kinds of Lay's potato chips. You got wavy, plain, kettle cooked, and another plain. I didn't know. Um, this is Indian Tikka Masala. Now, if we're saying this wrong, go to hell because we don't speak this <laughs> language, okay? I'm sorry. I'm trying to be educated here. And we're educating you. Um, this says Indian Tikka Masala. It just rolls off the tongue. Uh, packed with flavorful spices like turmeric and cumin. Cumin? Cumin. The cumin. Cumin, cumin. Yeah. The tomato based dish tikka masala is a fixture in global cuisine now. Global. Uh, open this flavor and bring some kushi to your day. We learned something. I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay, and you get to do this one. This is Chinese Sichuan oh. chicken. Chinese Sichuan. Sichuan chicken? The regional... Region? Region. <laughs> region. The regional Sichuan pepper is where takeout favorites... Takeout favorite Sichuan chicken gets its name. Why wait for delivery? We've got the tongue-tingling sensation of mala right here. All right. And it's in a rainbow. It makes me happy. Now we are going to crack open the bags, take a chip, try it out. We got a little water here to kind of cleanse our palates <laughs> because, you know, all of these flavors are not going to mix. I can't imagine they would. They're all European. Uh, well, no, they're Asian. I'm sorry. And South American. Do you have one you're most excited Man. for? 
Uh, all right, European, South American, Asian, but we're lacking three other continents. Antarctica. Am I right? <laughs> Do you have one more you're most excited for? Uh, I, hmm, I don't know. I mean, mm. they sound interesting in their own way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The, the, the chicken and the, the Brazilian. I don't know. They, they, yeah. But. I'm, I'm going towards one of those. I'm not, not really a fan of Asian or Indian food, so. We'll see. We're going to try this. Okay. Greek tzatziki. Here's one for you. Thank you. Are we going to visit the same time? Yes, we will. Uh, let me find a good one here. A honker. A honker? A honker. <laughs> it's got a good flip. Mm, it's got a good smell to it. It does. It smells like uh, pickles. Pickles? Well, it did say it had dill in it. Okay. Come on. Okay. Two, three. You can definitely taste the dill. Yeah, it was. That is a crunchy pickle. There's a word I'm thinking of that I that's just not coming to mind right now. There is so much dill in that. Mmm. <laughs> and what else was it? Ooh, you you can taste the dill. If you like dill pickles, you're gonna like this because I really can't taste any garlic. The dill is what is standing out here. It tastes like a pickly burger. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm getting. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, great tzatziki. If you like pickles, you're going to love this. Very dilly chip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dilliest. Mmm. We have no ways. Mmm. Now we're going to try Brazilian picana. Ooh. It actually says what it is. It says steak and chimichurri sauce. I'm excited. See, it says what right is there. chimichurri sauce? Chimichurri sauce is some Brazilian sauce. So we'll just say that. Is that all I know? Fun fact. Ready. I actually have dill on my, my knuckle. Yes. It's still good. Now these are not the, the, the wavy lays. Like we just had. They're just plain. Ooh, there is a, there's a big flavorful one Yay. for you. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just smell like it around. Low key mm -hmm. smells like. Okay. Nothing. It's <laughs> all they can. Yeah, there's really not a distinct. Like I'm trying, but I don't want to like sniff the chip. Don't snort chips, kids. Well, I guess we'll just try it. Wow, that's strong. Must be the chewy cherry sauce. It. That tastes like a steak <laughs> in chip form. That is a steak, and I hate to say that that is how it is, but that's really the only flavor that I'm getting here. I taste like a lot of steak, but there's something else mm. in there I cannot pinpoint. Mm. That's intense. All right, so we're done with these. Now we're going to go on to the Indian Tikka Masala, masala. Uh, kettle cooked. Kettle cooked. What they're, is they're crunchy? They're crunchier. But um, it's already crunchy as it is. Yeah, but they're, they're like super crunchy. They've got some. Mm. Ready to eat some splinters. No, that, that's not a big one. Oh, but, but holy I mean, they're not, balls. Yeah, you can smell that it is, the moment you open the bag. It smells like, it makes me think of ramen noodle, a ramen noodle seasoning, however you think it, tomato tomorrow. Now this is the this is the one that said it was tomato based I like with tomatoes. the cumin. All right, let's go. Oh, I like. Listen to that crunch. It's kind of like Swedish to me. Tangy, tangy. That's mm -hmm. word. I see what you're talking about. Your brain is saying, "Hey, this is kind of sweet, but it's not really." Yeah, it's. Mm. It tastes like spices and Christmas. And it's not, it's not heavy spice. It's it's very not really. I hate to say it, it's not very flavorful spices. They don't blend well. It's not bad, but they're just kind of bland spices. You know, it doesn't have something that has a kick in it. Bland but intense. Yeah, that's the Indian. Spice. 
spice of room. You're gonna get some water. Just it's just sitting there. It's yeah. tingling. Mm-hmm. Like strong aftertaste there. Mm-hmm. That one will stay with you. And now <clears throat> the Chinese Szechuan. That probably I'm actually looking forward to now. Because uh, I like Chinese food. Chinese food is good. Szechuan is good. Ooh, it, mm, I good. like lao mein and that's about it. Uh, oh, yeah. He looks flavorful. This could be the Okay, shape. I'm going to get this, uh, you know, bent looking. Uh, uh, it smells Chinese. Oh, wow. That smells... Strongly of like... Like soy sauce. Something about that chicken. You know, like mm -hmm. All right, well, let's go for it. Wow. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Like <laughs> There's flavor here. And spice. And spice. Wow, the spice came up and went. Bah! I'm just going to leave that there. Woo. No. You, but I'm not. I'm not all into that jazz. If you like spicy Chinese, that's it. That's Woo! In potato chip form. Much intense. Wow. That that was probably. Ooh. Okay. Before we get, it, let's just. All right. I'd say let's just do it like this, so you at home can play along. Playing a game? No, we're not playing a game. Oh. I'm just saying that because it sounds clever. Okay, um, which one would you say that you like the most out of these chips? Mm, probably the steak. The steak, and that would be the Brazilian. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why, I guess? It was very steaky. I don't know, I like the flavor a lot. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too, too in the face, but it wasn't too plain. Okay. Um, I would probably... Mm. These two, they didn't, these two, if you can't see them at home, kids. Um, these two, the, the Brazilian, the Conte, and the Indian, they are good. They didn't, they, they lacked flavor for me. Um, I guess a certain kind of flavor I'm looking for in a chip. Um, the Chinese, yeah, it, it's loaded with flavor, but it's got that spicy kick. And I, I mean, I love spice, but I think it was just a bit on the nose so i would probably say the greek tzatziki was was probably the one i dug and i mean okay. it's it's even though i did say it was like a dill pickle um i mean i like pickles if you like pickles you might like it but it wasn't uh, intense it was a nice flavor it's kind of creamy you know flavor to it so that's what i dug so what do you think they would like compliment most hmm Especially since, like, I don't eat chips and Chinese together at the same time. It's no, weird. and for me, a chip is something you would eat with uh, a sandwich. Uh, ham sandwich, turkey sandwich, hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, something that's a sandwichy type. And I really don't know if any of these would kind of fit the bill on any of those. I feel like I'm thinking beef on that one, maybe because it's the same animal. but Roast beef? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Seems to fit with me. Uh, spicy chicken. Spicy chicken, chicken sandwich. Yeah. Should be too much spice. I, mm -hmm. would, I would not be happy. Uh, this would probably go good with a ham sandwich. I can now. see that. Yeah. Or a burger. Or a burger. What about Indian? Hmm. I don't know. That one's uh, that one's. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's the so oddball. It doesn't really fit. We'll eat it with a peanut butter sandwich, and just really throw you off. Yeah. So there you have it, people. Um, if you like. You know what we've said here if you enjoyed watching us do this you can always come back we will have new videos maybe not every week but uh, we'll see how it goes uh but again not a sponsor but check these out tell us what you think uh give us a little comments below and uh if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like us to do again this is a random show we want to do different things reviews of not just food things they're the new wacky things she won't always be here. That's how random we are. Okay? She's got her own channel. She doesn't need to be here. Um, so just come back and see us. Let us know what you think. 
please, it helps us know that we're doing good work. If you think we're doing good work, okay? But until next time, be random. <laughs>